Associating with Jesus is a dangerous decision. However, Jesus was up front with his disciples and told them that following him would not be a safe decision, saying that anyone willing to follow him must deny themselves and take up their cross. Andrew was a fisherman in the rural town of Capernaum. He was just your average guy working the family business. He wasn't especially religious, and yet Jesus invited Andrew to follow him. After Christ's death and resurrection, Andrew spread the gospel throughout Russia and Greece, where he was later crucified. Andrew hung upon the cross for three days, suffering unimaginable pain, but continuing to tell the people around him about the love of Jesus Christ. God used Andrew, an average and insignificant guy, to change thousands of lives. Peter was a hot-tempered guy who often put his foot in his mouth. He lacked faith in Jesus, denying him on three separate occasions. However, God transformed Peter into a man so full of faith that on some occasions, the mere casting of his shadow upon the sick was enough to bring about miraculous healing. Peter fearlessly proclaimed the gospel to everyone, Jew and Gentile. While in Rome, he had the choice to avoid crucifixion and go into hiding. Instead, he chose to surrender himself and was crucified by Emperor Nero. Peter asked to be crucified upside down because he didn't consider himself worthy to be crucified in the same position as his Lord. God transformed Peter from a volatile man of little faith into a man of such faith and courage that he willingly went to his death to glorify God. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus appeared following his resurrection. So the other disciples found Thomas and said, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the scars in his hands and put my finger where the nails were, I will not believe it. A week later, Jesus came and stood among the disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands? Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas fell to his knees and said, My Lord and my God. Thomas went on to preach the gospel throughout Persia. From there, he traveled to India, where he died a martyr. God changed Thomas's heart from one riddled with doubt to one filled with faith and trust in God, even until the very end. Like Thomas, all of those who were most intimately associated with Jesus became martyrs and remained, by God's grace, faithful until their cruel deaths. These were 11 ordinary guys, 11 nobodies, that chose to follow Jesus. They had some major faults, much like you and I, but they chose to give up their lives to follow Christ and be transformed through Him, to tell people about Him, and ultimately to die for Him. Jesus never said it would be safe following Him. In fact, He knew the hardship that lay ahead for those that chose to follow Him. And so, he asked them to count the cost. For his disciples, it cost them everything, including their lives. Have you ever really thought about what it might cost you to follow such a dangerous God? <laughs>